Blessed be God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, to, to trust you with all our hearts. For as you always resist the proud who confide in your own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will praise, I will sing praises to my God all my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs, they return to the earth. On that very day, their plans perish. Happy are those who help, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the widow. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord.
prayers of the people. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our Bishop Mark, for this gathering, our final one online, and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people, particularly those who have been impacted by Hurricane Ida, and all those who live in areas of conflict, whether or not personal or in their neighborhoods. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, people who live oppressed, and those who are in prison. We pray for those in any need or in any trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God, for a deeper knowledge, for a deeper practice, of a spirituality that understands wholeness, and lives in the spirit of welcome. I ask for your prayers for the departed. At this online gathering here at St. Paul's, we pray for the following people. For Roger Wright, for Delane, for Craig Costa, for military gold star families, for the Murdoch family, especially Charlotte, for the Gura family, especially Dylan, and for Walt Marcus, and for anyone else you would like to pray for this weekend. Perhaps in particular, we'd like to pray for essential workers and all those who work in our community. Good and gracious God, you continue to bring us together so that not only we can praise your name, but we can ask for the things that we need. Now we pray in the words that Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen.
Let us go forth rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. 